Jeremy says that Twiz is in heat today, which would be great. She'd be my last one to get pregnant. We have to check her off the list. We'd have two groups then of goat babies. So we would have Cece, Bunny, Nani, Patty. They're all gonna kid in about the same two weeks. And then Poppy, Pixie, Twizzy. That would be about a month later. All right, let's get everybody fed in my trashed barn goats. The YouTubers don't get to see a lot of you. She's really super sweet, guys. Look at she is. She's super cute. And she's very sweet and snuggly. She's just kinda shy. You are just kinda shy. We've gotta write everybody's dates down and look at our schedule today, too, for when our spring goat babies are gonna arrive. Are you in heat? Yes. Are you ready to go on a date? Okay, let's get, let's get breakfast taken care of and then we'll go on a date, okay? Can we have breakfast? Can we have breakfast first? Not super interested in breakfast, Mom. I also need to check on Nani today. She just looks kind of thin. She's eating well. I just wonder if it's bullying or if it's worms. Hello? Where are our nuggets? All right there. Look at our little boys. We still don't have names yet, guys. We'll see. This definitely needs to be mucked out. That's a lot of poop. She's eating all the food I've given her. All right, let's get the curtain raised up and get everybody breakfast. So funny to me. I have a couple girls that prefer those range cubes over the loose grain, which is really strange. So most animals prefer the sweet feed because it's got more molasses. This girl would rather have a scoop of range cubes. And honestly, may switch over to that while she's in her confinement because they have higher protein they're better for anyway. It's just most won't eat them. If that's if they could have the sweet feed, they'd rather have it. I really want her to eat the pellets. And so I'm giving her way more pellets. Not exactly cooperating with them. Good morning, Piggles. Good morning. Pig, pig, pigs. Let's go, pig, pig. Piggle, piggle, piggle. if any of those three girls go back into heat. If Bunny or Padme or Nani kind of passed when Cece would have gone back into heat. If we get anybody else rolling back in. What do you think? You're my one I'm a little bit worried about. Can we check your color? I'm not liking that. Quite a bit lighter than I would like. So we'll go ahead and warm her today too. And she's just a little bit thin, just to make sure. Yeah, you're going on a date. We got it. Let's get everybody else fed. Come back and check on babies. They haven't really eaten much hay in the last couple of days. So I'm wondering if we got a little tiny bit of grass regrowth out in their pasture because we got it out here in the backyard after all the rain. I'm gonna feed the boys out here, kind of get them away. And honestly, I had planned on breeding Twiz with Luke just because of the color, but I'm probably just gonna breed her with whoever will. I can lock in the pen. We've got most of our girls bred to Luke with the exception of Padme and Cece. So one more bean baby out of seven would be fun. Hi. Out here, screen pepper. Oh, pet pet. Okay, let's go ahead and get warmer for Nani. 
Check on the babies and get some cat food. We'll look at our dates on our board real quick. And then we'll try to separate boys and breeding taken care of. This morning, Jeremy's over at the new house working on fencing. I've got to edit video today. So I've got to do that before I go over, but we'll go over this afternoon and give you an update on what all that's looking like. We've made some progress for sure. Good morning, Bear. Always double check my dosages. I can't ever remember. I have them written on my board, but I always like to double check that I wrote them right, especially since that's probably been over a year ago. Get her worm. We'll check on the baby beebas. Goodness, look at those babies. She's like, I know, I'm having to feed them. Where did Nani go? I hear Bunny over here. Yep, pretty much count on Nani to always be wherever Bunny is. Hello, come here Nani. I don't think she got most of that prohibit. I think she just coughed it all out. My other friends, it's about that time. Get everybody in and get toes trimmed up. Not today, maybe next weekend. We'll get everybody in for a feet trim. Maybe we'll do that one night this week. Yes, I bet everybody needs a pedicure. Especially after all the rain, it'll be a good time to do it. Their feet will be a little bit softer. What'd you think, Hank? She's doing really good. Still doing awesome, aren't ya? Damn, Mom. Hi, Pop Poppers. Oh, goodness, shake it off. It's such a nice day. Such a nice day. We need to clean out your pen. We need to scoop some poop. How are the little ones? Everybody seems to be nursing and playing. Mama's taking good care of them. Yeah. So we had like a big long discussion about names last night. Everybody seems to want to do like horror movie villains, which I think is fun. So we're, we've talked about a lot of different ones like Freddy for like Freddy Krueger, Frankie for Frankenstein, Jason, just lots of different ones to see what we think. I don't know, I haven't decided. I wanted to do like fun spooky names like I was hoping for girls and I was gonna name them Pocus Pocus names. And we could do Binks for the little black one and Max and Billy and they could all be Pocus Pocus themes or we could do villains. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments what we should name them. What kind of spooky names? Or if we should go the like Chucky, Freddy, Frankie, Jason route. I think they're too cute for me names but those are fun. Zelda's doing really good. She's a good mom. So all the pooping and peeing is a good sign that she's eating. Everything's working great. She looks good. Everything's kind of flushing out well. I'm not going to show you her back end. YouTube doesn't like that. This guy kills me, guys. These ears are my favorite. The fact that we haven't quite figured them out. We haven't, have we? They're so tiny and they'll only be like this for like a week or two. And then they'll just grow so fast. So I love getting to spend tons of time with them when they're really small and that helps make them friendly. Okay, I'm gonna get Twiz moved over and then I'm gonna come in here and clean out this stall for her. And I promise for the next few weeks we're gonna have tons of baby goat content if that's what you're here for. Let's so make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you've got those notifications on so that you can be here for all the baby goat content and so that you're here in late february and march we're guys if we breed seven goats there's a possibility that we're gonna have anywhere between you know seven to more than 14 goat babies on the ground man i don't want to get smelly here we go like Luke is the lucky fella again today. So we'll get Twiz, get her over here, get everybody breath. It'd be a really big relief to have this done November 1st. 
I don't really remember when we finished up last year with Pixie because she had babies in April. So I want to say it was like mid-November. I think it was like around Thanksgiving. All right, Twizzy. Hopefully she's in strong enough heat that she doesn't have to stay there for very long. Usually getting over there is not the hard part. Maybe one year we should let the girls choose. You know, like have the boys in two separate pens and see which boy they like best. Maybe we'll do that next year. That would be really funny. I don't know, like Tinder for goats. Could you swipe right or swipe left? Like, looks like Luke, it's what she's interested in, so it's good. Let's go this way. Okay, this is promising. She's not hard to get bred usually. We've never had to have more than one go at it. So that's two good mounts. That's really all we needed. We'll let him hang out for about an hour while I do everything else. And then if she seems ready to go and I'm ready to go in, we'll bring her back. So let's go look at some dates so you guys can know when we're gonna have goat babies. Okay, well March is gonna be like a really busy month, month guys. Okay, so here are your dates. We're gonna start with Cece somewhere between February 26th to March 3rd and end with Twizzler around the 31st. We'll go about two weeks and then we'll have about a two week break and then we'll go for about a week with these girls. It's a lot of goat babies, guys. And that doesn't include Daisy if we get her bread. Okay, let's get these guys cleaned up. Quiz is sat down, so I think maybe we can get her out of here. I don't know. Now I don't know if I can get her back without food. Come on, Twizzer. Because there's all these fun leaves and trash and not trash, <laughs> and acorns to eat over here. Hey, come on. Ooh, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Guys, we have a busy three days. Getting three goats bred, having baby goats, building fence, and a lot. Okay, so made it over to new house. I wanted to show you guys the progress that they made. Sorry I didn't film it, but I wasn't here. So we just got done pulling up all these posts for this fence. And this is gonna go, if we can get the concrete knocked off them, hopefully my brother-in-law will be able to reuse them. Doesn't look promising. He works in construction, so he might have a trick. And yesterday and today, the main project that we've been working on is putting corner posts and T-posts in the ground. And this about two weeks ahead of schedule because it rained and the ground is soft and so we wanted to focus on getting as many depots in the ground this weekend as we could while the ground was still soft. It's supposed to rain a little bit next week. That will also be helpful. Kind of give you an idea of where the perimeter is. You can't see it from back there and that's kind of what we wanted. We wanted the fence to kind of blend in with the tree lines so it wasn't so obvious that we had all this fence. Here's the corner post. It runs all along this tree line. So they've got this big area and it kind of goes down to where this tree is. They put all these T-posts in and Jeremy was able to use the gas powered T-post driver. And so a lot of you have been asking me about that and we kind of have differing opinions on it depending on the day that we're using it. So this really soft ground with no rocks it worked like a dream. Like it just did it right in. And it works kind of like a weed eater. It's a string pull to start it and then it has a button that you use and then it just kind of drives it in. Maybe the next time we're out here, I'll show you like specifically how it works. 
it's not uber complicated. So here's the corner. So the gate is gonna be down at that end. Our property line is probably five or 10 feet over that direction. And then it runs up the hill here. And so you can kind of see this being like the side of the house, that this is all gonna be one big area where the pigs are gonna be kind of here at the bottom and then the boy goats are gonna be at the top. But this like flat piece, the girls are gonna be. So you can see it goes about not too far into the woods. We were able to find a survey marker right there. So again, it's about five feet, we think, off the property line. We wanted to be cautious. So the pig house will sit here so in this kind of alcove. So this will kind of cap them. So they'll go from here all the way down to that post and then they'll go over quite a bit in that direction. Hey, will you stop kind of where the fence is going to stop? <laughs> You see him posing. So that is about, they'll have this like really nice big square. And then from where he is forward, like from this post, all the way up this hill. And you see all this brush and undergrowth. Those boy goats are gonna love this. It's gonna provide them some natural shade. It's gonna go all the way up here. This is kind of steep. Move all the way up to this post. And then they'll have uh, two, Basically that tree down the side of the mountain. But that's a pretty big deal. It's about a third of the fencing T posts in the ground and the posts. So now it's front fencing, which is a different kind of fencing. It's gonna be like a wood pretty fence. We made big progress today. Sorry I haven't been here to like record it, but I think there's gonna be a little bit of that where I'm doing stuff there, he's doing stuff here back and forth. But that's your update for today. And the goat's out. Patty? Girlfriend, look, what are you doing? Hmm? Does me a stinker. Come on. Let's go put you back in. In the tree. Oh. The bad thing is that you use food to get them back in, so they're more motivated to escape because they know they're gonna get a treat. It's a really bad system because you can't get them in without the food then they get like reinforced for getting out. So I'm gonna take these two hay bales down, close the door and put them back up. I did get the door closed and latched and she shouldn't be able to get out anymore. Hopefully we fixed that problem. How is everybody? She's been trying to clean up her backside. You can see where she's been chewing on her butt. It's all wet. What do you think, dude? It's like, I'm sleeping. This little black one eats more. Buddy. All right, get up. I know everybody's okay. Okay, well I think they're fine. You need a treat? Grandma's been spoiling you. You've already had like 85 treats today. There comes a point where you will not be able to poop. Yeah, or you won't be able to poop. There you go. These guys are already gone to bed. You got hay on your face. Let's find some dinner. Your babies are sleeping. They're so stinking cute. Because nobody else is getting fed, everybody wants to be in here. Okay, let's get your dinner. I'm sorry, I got distracted. I got distracted. All right, girlies, it's dark. It's night night time. Nine nine baby goats. Nine nine mama goat. Goats. You're going on a date. We got it. She's like, I know. I'm having to feed them. Man, I don't want to get smelly. Here we go. 